The Colonial Theater in Idaho Falls filled with memories today as the celebration of life for Tylee Ryan and JJ Vallow took center stage. We have team coverage tonight from Linda Larson, Kaylee Galavis, and Braden Wilson. We start with Linda, who joins us now in studio. Linda, it must have been a beautiful service. It was beautiful, and it was truly an honor to be there and feel the spirits of all of those who love Tylee, JJ, and their family. It was a day of celebration, a day of sadness, and a day of joy as hundreds of community members joined with family and friends to remember the lives of JJ and Tylee, two beautiful children that were gone far too soon. But their story, their lives, and their memory taking wing around the world. I talked with many of them. Here's what they had to say. It's a day about a memorial service to two wonderful young children. That, that is just, that's amazing. Think about that. All these amazing people here, and every one of them is just, they're part of a family. They're part of a family. No matter where they go in life, what they do in life, they're going to remember J.J. They're going to remember Tylee. What message do you have for people out there watching? My message is to love everybody every day. We don't know how long we have. Um, life brings lots of surprises. Um, a lot of times these surprises can be devastating. Um, so my, my thing is uh, love as many people as you can and uh, communicate better with, with people. It's a, a privilege, but what is so amazing is that they have reached out to Larry and Kay, and Larry and Kay loves and appreciate everyone who has reached out to them. I mean, I'm so proud of this community and everything they have done for Larry and Kay. People will say, what can I do for Larry and Kay? I'll say, reach out to them, reach out to them. And Larry and Kay loves this community. They call this their second home. I love opportunities to thank people for supporting this whole story for their love. Sorry I get emotional about that. But um, that Kay and Larry would do this and let all these people come together and uh, celebrate their lives, it's just wonderful. On a personal note, covering this case has been one of the hardest things I've ever done, with so much grief and so much tragedy. But the love and friendship that all of us here at Local News 8 have felt from the family and from our community will stay with all of us. Linda, thank you for that report. And Kaylee Galavis was also there to tell us how JJ and Tylee were remembered at today's service. Music, memories, tears, and love surrounded the Colonial Theater in downtown Idaho Falls. There'll be no more tears in heaven. All coming together to celebrate J.J. Vallow and Tylee Ryan. 16-year-old Tylee remembered as funny, sassy, and strong-minded, but above all else, a great friend. This one from Emma. One of my favorite things about Tylee, and arguably one of her best traits, is her fierce love and loyalty. If you were friends with her, she would defend, love, and protect you to the end, especially if you were JJ. To this day, I strive to, to treat others the way she treated JJ, whether it be to me as a sister, friend, co-worker, daughter, wife, or anything. Seven-year-old JJ described as a fun, energetic little man. I've heard all these things said, JJ was wild. He wasn't. There's two things you had to do for JJ. Two things, give him his medication in the morning and then give him his medication in the evening. There was not a wild child. Do not ever believe that. That boy was 100% American youth, no fear of anything. JJ and Tylee's memory will live on through family, friends, those across Eastern Idaho, Arizona, and the world 
forever in our hearts. The viewing for the memorial started at 11 this morning, but many people were waiting in line long before the doors opened. Local News 8's Braden Wilson met with some of those people. He shares with us why they felt a, de a desire to pay their respects. It's very hard to be in the middle of this, and I just feel like I'm here to support the people that are hurting. People started to gather in line at least an hour before doors opened, waiting for their chance to pay their respects to Tylee Ryan and J.J. Vallow. I spoke with those who had personal connections with the case and those who have been following this from the beginning. I've been following this trial from the beginning and just really want to honor, honor, you know, Tylee and JJ and, and the family. So just wanted to be here to support them. I have family that lives out past the Daybell's house where I've been literally passing the Daybell's house every weekend of every summer of my life. So um, when I found out that the kids were there, like it just, it changed my world. Chad and um, Melanie Gibb and Audrey Baratario were friends of mine. And so it's been very shocking um, to go through this. And so as, as Chad's trial continues, it's still shocking <laughs> to have things come out. And so I am here just to support the family in any way that I can. Many of the people I talked with also shared how challenging it's been to follow the ongoing trial of Chad Daybell, but they're hopeful justice will be served. I hope that the jurors will be able to discern and know. And I think Pryor is giving a, a great defense on, on what he's doing, but I hope that the jurors will be able to see really what happened and what went on with that. So that's what I'm hoping. I'm, I'm hoping for justice for, for everybody that's involved. We're getting a lot of new information that we didn't have with Lori's and which has been helpful, I think, to continue to put the pieces together um, because I think there'll be a lot of unanswered questions. I mean, there'll be a lot of things we don't know, but it's helpful to get um, you know, that this other side as well, you know, additional pieces. They also tell us why they wanted to show their support for the family. I think the most important thing is for people to come together and to take what is so horrific and so horrible and evil and consciously do something great. And so that's why I'm here is to support the family in that way. I just really wanted to just honor the kids in the way that I could, you know, like they're, sometimes I feel like you can't do a lot. So I was like very grateful for them to like offer this and for me for it to just be right down the road for me. I just appreciate, um, you know, the opportunity to be here and for Kay and Larry to host this and um, for the media for covering it. For Local News 8, I'm Brayden Wilson.